welcome viewers to software demi a project control and engineering software academy our today's content is based on when we import a file in primavera p6 we receive an error which error name is project import failed so how to encounter that error and where to find out that error and what is the detail and what is the background of it and when you will see that error so it's common when you have a project of primavera p6 and you are doing work with the software and we are you are doing import and export then the errors are must so i have seen an error in a file i have been shared with someone uh, i think so i have created or someone shared with me i do not remember but yesterday i have just seen that this file have an error and i was thinking that to discuss with my viewers about that one how to deal with error so i have seen this error while i am importing so i have opened my primavera p6 here let's go and let's see what is the error so let, let's go here and import and this is an import an xr file because the file is an xr so i have seen this error in xr so error can be seen in any type of format so i will just locate my file from my desktop and the file is in here project import field so i will have created a copy uh, so to see that error again and again so like this one next and i will import that file to anywhere like like uh, uh, suppose i import in enterprise uh, so i always recommend that when you are creating uh, a project so please locate its location like by project code by eps whatever so you can identify the code at bet at uh, its best location so uh, you can also this configuration uh, i haven't been told and but when i will find out time i will explain you about the configuration while importing also so there are a lot of more topics will be coming up i have been paused since last year i haven't created any a lot of videos uh, but uh, we'll coming up on our, our track and we will create more videos for our viewers whatever the question you will ask in the our comments i will create videos on it so we are on track now we are just uh, on track we will create more videos let's go here next and uh, we'll finish out and let's finish out and you will see an error like the error have been given with the name of error and the project import failed error the name and for details so there is one benefit of primavera p6 i don't know in the previous version it will show or not show but in this version of 23.12 it show us location but i hope it will also show locations in previous but what i'm thinking maybe it's showing in latest versions because in this version 23.12 primavera p6 have improved a lot its uh, uh, its log creation of the errors have been improved a lot in this type in this uh, current uh, revision but uh, let's see maybe in uh, upcoming revision of primavera p6 there is uh, another update and wet which is very uh, advanced update so let's see here uh, we have find out the location c user uh, the name and uh, username and the local and temporary so let's see copy here uh, this location and let's go here and paste this the location and i will paste and i will click on the file and when i will click on the file there the file will be opened see here the file have been opened let's see here okay so let let do one thing just click here paste this one and do not open the text file open only temporary folder so whenever you will click this one so i think so browser have been opened so let's go here in the c drive and let's give this location and i didn't i think so this uh, c yes yes okay so paste this one and i think so c we have to paste here and let's go here and find out location so this is the folder and which file we have to open and the file name is like prm import log so always this one import log will be created always prm will go for search here prm so we'll find out the file prm import log so i will also see the time which have been at which time it have been uh, created so the time is very main when we have a uh, searching for file so match the file prm import log so prm import log which is matching here so let's go here and open first we'll read error so first we read error what the error is so always when error appears in primavera p6 while importing anything please read error must read error because error will explain you everything you don't need to consult anyone else so whenever you encounter any error in xls file in excel file 
in XGR file, please see the error. This is this is basic. This is basic. Whenever you whenever you see an error in any software, please read it. Just first read it. So this this is the error, error detail. So it is saying that my WBS do not have any parent ID. So uh, I have also configured configured this out uh, like every 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 time when we see error in primary IP6 mostly it's because of WBS uh, it do not import because WBS and project IDs uh, these are very interconnected in primary IP6 when you are importing any file. So let's see here in WBS error was appeared uh, in the our uh, in our uh, import and the time have been also mentioned parent WBS ID uh, you know it's not valid for these WBS IDs okay it's not its parent ID is not uh, valid so let's see where is its parent ID how to check that one okay let's go here in the my folder which is my folder on the desktop let's go here in the desktop and let's find out uh, the folder which from where we have imported yeah this folder we have imported let's go here open into notepad and when I open into notepad this is an error this is an error and let's go here in the bottom and we'll find out here let's go here in the bottom and we'll find out here WBS let's okay this is project WBS project so this is every time we will find want to find out the project WBS code so it's specific you will find out from the percent T it start from percent T and let's go bottom and let's go bottom more 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 here and below down up to we'll see here okay so here up to resource the next one will be always resource so up to r and the next t okay i will copy this one and i will copy and paste into my excel let's go here in the excel and open my excel and i will open my excel here let's say here I will paste here so when I will paste here I have a complete WBS okay right up to like which uh, uh, like we can see here 243 so please also see that you haven't seen any T here okay more because from percent T a new category start and next one F is a it's a you know uh, it's a footer a header and then R is the row R means the row of our every uh, you can parameter you can say every data data row you can say so whenever you will copy from notepad so every data will be appear like that one. okay so let's see here what what was uh, we identify in our error so we have seen like this one so like which was our error i i think so i'm uh, just uh, the error have been okay so okay so the error I, I think so I just deleted the error mm, let's go here we can also manually find it okay it's in uh, C user with a name and the next one was a user public and let's 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 identify from the file let's identify okay, let's get, go again and copy this location copy this one and let's go paste here and let's open this one so let's see here this was 73913 73914 73915 up to 73919 so let's go here 73919 see here these all are the issues which have so what was the missing parent WBS ID so see here it's empty so all the other activities have all the other WBS have their parent ID. So what is parent ID? I have explained in other video uh, how to import uh, uh, WBS by using an Excel. So I have uh, maybe I will attach the link of that video also. But you can also find from uh, you know our channel also. You can also uh, uh, search on the YouTube also. You will find out the video that easily. That's uh, our uh, video on the top will be find out so let's see here what will the, the WBS parent ID so always parent ID means what is our main WBS ID after that one uh, we have some IDs of the other WBS so seven nine uh, seven seven three one like this pre construction works will be the main uh, head of this one this WBS okay so then the further IDs so if uh, so this construction design have 
any other further WBS is so it will be written like there. Okay, so it's work like that one, like this one seven nine uh, three nine uh, three nine one nine. It's uh, under like this one task removed. So this one activities will be under that activity. So it's like this one logical. So what will be its parent uh, WBS ID? So its parent WBS ID will be this project uh, main ID. Okay, this one it will be it's a project WBS ID. So I have uh, paste here because on the top this project name will be appear and under that one this one WBS will be appear. So let's here uh, and I will just go here and select this one and I will permit this one and now I will just go here and click control A and I will select all my data from here and copy this one data copy this one data and simply go here from where I have copied this one uh, where is my file where is my file okay so I did forget the file okay, okay let's see here let's find out the file from here desktop of the file was the this was the file and open the file with notepad and then go here from the wbs okay find out from here and up to resource the next t okay so let's go it We'll find out more tricks in the upcoming videos okay so this is the location this is object right click here and paste so this will be updated now i will just escape and all the data have been updated here and now I'll okay i'll okay I'll okay so now wbs okay it's have been added control save and file save okay which file we have added here this one file now go here in primary p6 close this one file file import now import xr file next and then we'll go here in the project next we'll go and find out the copy this project have been added so the time matches time matches okay next so people always mix when they import or when they create something and they forget what what was we importing so that's the uh, they forget which was the last one. So the import was successful. Thanks, we have got. And when we open this project, we will find out all the WBS. Maybe there is something messy here because this project was like imported from uh, while we was doing uh, importing from uh, Excel uh, MSP. So that was the issue, I think. So that was the happen. So see here, that was the main, and that was under that one and this is one so on so this video has been finished now if you have any question and regarding this video you can ask in the comments also you can text us through our whatsapp number we are available at uh, every working hour so also you can email to us at info at the rate of .com. you can find us our number at the end of this video and also in description of this video and also from our website www.softydemy.com also moreover you can visit us our website that's the website have uh, like a lot of content there i will show you just a little bit a lot of we have a lot of tools we have a lot of software which we can you can see here find out easily how to learn from uh, beginner so softydemy.com www.softydemy.com also you can visit us our website here and you can see here our shop there are a lot of more tools and also tools are there and you can visit also xr files templates a lot of stuff is there the website link have been given if you have any question further you can ask to us through our whatsapp contact us so you can click here and thanks for watching software demi we will come up with the new content and if there is anything uh, you can ask you can freely ask to us thanks have a good day